Mark Cochran, the newest member into the Baylor Athletics Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Mark. Our next inductee this evening from Baylor Baseball, welcome Michael Griffin. Michael Griffin, Baylor Baseball 2002 to 2005. Part of Baylor Baseball's most recent College World Series team in 2005, Griffin ranks in the top 10 all time in career hits, doubles, home runs, and RBIs, and is the single season leader in games played, at bats, and doubles. He was a first team All Big 12 selection as a sophomore in 2003 when he hit 350 with 11 home runs and 76 RBIs. A versatile player who started at three different positions, third base, second base, and left field, Griffin was also a two-time All-NCAA regional pick in 03 and 05, a three-time academic All-Big 12 first team selection, and was named the USA Baseball National Team in 2003. A 14th round draft pick by the Cincinnati Reds in 2005, Griffin played eight years of pro ball and advanced to the AAA level. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into the Baylor Athletics Hall of Fame, Mike Griffin. All right, so I have my notes on my phone, so I'm not texting anybody right now, just to let you know. Um, I'm kind of in the middle. I have half of a speech and half of some thank yous uh, to say. But before I get started, my, uh, my little man right here, Bryson, keeps telling me, hey, Dad, can I come on stage with you? Can I come on stage with you? Bryson, work hard, keep trying. Hey, you gonna do it, baby, I know. And if you see him flash the leather, you will know he might be up here one day, so. Um, but, you know, as I get started up here today, you know, first and foremost, uh, I want to say this is a huge honor. Um, and thank you uh, to Baylor University, uh, to the B Association um, for, for allowing me to be up here today. Um, it's a huge honor. I want to thank God. Without him, I wouldn't be up here today. Um, he blessed me in every, every portion of my life. Um, and before I go too far, I really want to say thank you to one person. Um, it's probably the most special moment for me being up here today, um, and that's my wife, Bailey, right here. Um, true story, um, I met her on campus on her first day when she was a freshman, walking across campus, um, and ever since then, she's been my rock for over 20 years now. Um, if there's one person that's seen me go through everything and really um, be a part of those celebrations, as well as pick me up during the failures, it's been her, and she's been the one that has given me the most beautiful thing in my life, which is my three young children right here, Allie, Gator Griffin, Bryson, and Blakely. Um, so thank you, Bailey, for always being there for me. Um, I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't be up here today without you, so I really appreciate it. I'd, all, I'd also like to thank my dad um, sitting at the table right here. You know, my dad actually uh, played college ball himself, had, was fortunate enough to get drafted, um, and he put a bat in my hand when I was three years old. Um, and it was the best thing that ever happened to me. So dad, he was always there. It was a passion that we shared, something that I've passed down to my children. And Bryson, thanks for introducing me to the game that quite honestly gave me everything in life that I ever could wish for and more. So thank you for that. To my mom, the team mom that went to every game cheering with milk jugs and quarters. T -t -t -t. That was her. Thank you for always being there, making sure I got to the games, making sure I was able to play the game that I love. To Elizabeth, my stepmom, always being there and supportive all along the way. Thank you so much for that. Moving on, my siblings. So I have my older brother Greg here, Aaron, Christina's not able to be here, and Noah. Um, they are really a part of who I am today. Without that sibling rivalry, I would not be the competitor that I am today. I followed my older brother around everywhere, 
got drug around, beat up in the backyard by him and his friends, and it made me tough, and it made me the person I am today. And then I pass it on to my little sisters, and they're the toughest cookies on the street, too. So. <laughs> but thank you for that. Uh, my other brother in the room, Ryan, um, actually my high school teammate, brother for life. Um, thank you for all you do and being here today. Uh, to the McGee family, really, Bailey's family, I met them when I was 19 years old. I'm now 41 years old. They've helped grow me into the person I am today and see me grow from a young boy into a man today. And I can honestly say they are my second family and have helped me get to the point that I am today. So thank you for that. To the coaches, Coach Mitch Thompson, Hoot Jonigan, and Chris Berry, and Steve Smith, that was my coaching crew, the best around. Thank you for always believing in me. And without your belief, I had no chance on being on the field and actually standing on this stage today. So thank you for everything you've done. And to my teammates, several of them in the room, um, the great thing about baseball is you're not an individual. The spotlight is not always on you. There's eight other people on the field at every given time, and they're your support system. And without those teammates, I wouldn't be able to be here today. I wouldn't have played in the World Series. Um, so thank you to all those guys. I see Tim Jackson, Abe Woody, Jay Lockett, Paul Witt. Uh, hopefully I'm not missing anybody. But these are the guys. They're the real rock stars. Now, I had a chance to talk to the baseball team a little bit earlier, so I have a little bit of practice of, of what I'm going to say. But it really, you know, my journey is very similar uh, to the last journey. Um, they were actually going, Mitch Thompson was actually going to see Trey Taylor. First round draft pick. Every single Major League Baseball scout was coming to see him, not Michael Griffin. I just happened to be the byproduct of what was there that day. Had a good game, hit a ball into the wind. I still think it would have went about 500 feet, but there was about a 35 mile an hour wind that got held up, and yes, I was out. But it caught one person's attention, and that was Mitch Thompson in the back of the room. I'll never forget that opportunity that really changed my life, and I, I truly, I truly believe it changed my life. He left, we were getting on the bus, and he ran up to me and said, I know you're going on an official visit the next day. Whatever you do, do not sign. I want you to be a Baylor Bear. And that meant a lot to me, a lot to me. Went to the visit, came back, eventually got to Baylor University. That moment right there and that decision absolutely changed my life. Because I will honestly say that everything good in my life has happened around a couple things. Baseball and Baylor University. Everything. So a lot of people might remember uh, the Baylor baseball team during that period for the World Series run back in 2005. Probably the best, most successful baseball team in Baylor baseball history. But nobody really talks about the season before. And I want to talk about that today because I really think it shapes kind of my experience here at Baylor and what we got to go through in 2005. Nobody remembers in 2004 that we were 29 and 31 and that we played in 23 one-run games and we lost 16 of them. 16. We were on the wrong side of the fence. That's tough to swallow. And if you really put that in perspective in a baseball season, if you win half of those games, the season is totally different and you're probably a top 15 ranked team. It was tough. Not only on top of that, I went, had high hopes to get drafted. It didn't happen. It was a double blow and a double whammy. But what really picked me up were the guys in this room, several of them, saying, it's not over. We're coming back next year. We're going to stay here in Waco. One cause to get to Omaha, and we're going to do this together. And that moment to me was the inflection moment, probably of my career and going into my senior year. I actually had the most fun that summer because I didn't go to the Cape Cod League. I didn't go to the Hawaiian League or the Appalachian League. I played in the Waco Men's Baseball League right here <laughs> for the Colt 45s. <laughs> and it was a ton of fun. But you know what I learned during that summer and during that period was there was something bigger there, right? Those three years that I had spent here, it was really all about the relationships and the brotherhoods that we had formed. And now we had one more shot. So we come out in 2005, get to go play in the College World Series, have a stellar season, 
First time we get to sweep Texas and A&M in a year. And I'll never forget the moment, and you probably just saw it on the screen right there, of the Tulane game, rushing across the, the largest comeback in World Series history at that point. There was something about that moment to me that was so surreal, and it made me feel like all of the hard work, all of the 6 a.m. workouts, all of the tears, all of the pain was all worth it at that point. And the reason why it was worth it was because the guys that I actually was doing it with for those four years, the same guys. So one last story about that. As I got uh, inducted into the Hall of Fame, or it came out, you know, one of the things that I kept hearing um, through text messages of teammates, and it really resonated to, to me, was not that you were the best player, not that you could hit a ball 600 feet, or you had the best arm. They said two things. You were a great teammate, and you were a great leader. And that's all I needed to hear. That was all I needed to hear. Consistency showing up every day, putting in the work, and letting the results happen. So as I reflect back on my time at Baylor, I think about a couple things here. I think about brotherhood, the guys in this room who for the rest of my life will forever be my brothers, whether blood or not. I think about the relationships from the, my wife to the players to the coaches. Relationships last forever. I think about opportunity. I was a 17-year-old kid that landed on Baylor University campus with no business being here, and now I'm on this stage. Everything in good, good in my life has happened through baseball and Baylor University. And for that reason, for the last word, I think of gratitude. I'm so fortunate to be a part of this class. I'm so fortunate to be a Baylor Bear. And I want to thank everybody. And congratulations to the other inductees. Thank you.